Let's take a look at some of my very favorite flowers here on Ivy Acres Homestead. This is a good enough place to start. I guess we can call it the fallen log flower bed. It's late May and the irises as well as the rhododendron have started to bloom. So of the clematis. As always, the clematis on this side has way more flowers than the one right next to it. happy to see that this newly established flower bed is doing well. That azalea was planted well before we moved in, of course, but most of these irises were just transplanted last summer. I'll have to come back a little later to see how the cosmi is doing. It was transplanted at the same time. The rhododendrons don't seem to bloom at the same time. Although it would be nice to see all of them blooming along this driveway. It's not a bad thing to have them spread out over time. Wendy often complains that we just don't get enough sunlight here to grow anything. To help disprove that, I'm going to dig into the archives to show you how different flowers have done at different times of the year and in different spots around the homestead. Well, right now the roses are doing pretty good. Maybe we don't get enough sunlight to grow something like corn, but you can grow something beautiful wherever you are.
It is now early July, and this transplanted crocosmia is starting to bloom. It's now the end of August. It was almost a year ago when I established this flower bed and transplanted the iris and crocosmia. Now that we're preparing for a big move out of state, there's a few of the iris rhizomes that I'd like to take with us. Earlier in the summer when they were in bloom, I marked three of these irises with these plastic clips. So I'd remember my favorites and know which ones to dig up later. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dig them up, I'm gonna trim the leaves, I'm going to brush the dirt off. I'm going to let them dry for a day or so in this open box. Now we'll move them to a box with a lid and cover them with sawdust. I know some people recommend dusting them with some sort of an antifungal before you do this. I couldn't find anything like that at Home Depot. And I've done it this way before, so I'm sure this will just be fine. We'll keep this box here in the garage until we move. Thanks for watching.